What is going on guys? I'm back with another video. I know, I know, I know these shoes came out a couple weeks ago, but hey, better late than never. So I'm just gonna give you guys my first impression on these shoes and do a little comparison between the 2011 pair and the 2015 pair. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna give you guys my first impression of these right here, Jordan 7 Bordeaux. So right off the bat, I noticed that the suede is not as soft as the 2011 pair. There are some slight color differences as well. The midsole here is a lot darker. It's black, unlike the 2011 pair where it's gray. But all around, I can't complain about the shoe. These are my favorite shoes of all time, and I'm just happy that I could add another pair to my collection. And these are just a very, very nice pair of shoes. Let's go ahead and get to the comparison. In my left hand, I hold the 2011 pair, and in my right hand, I hold the 2015 pair. And as you guys can see right off the bat, the charcoal color on these things are definitely a little bit different. The toe box is definitely shaped a little bit different too. On the 2015 pair, you can see on the toe box there that the stitching is a little bit wider. The suede definitely looks a little bit different. The suede is definitely definitely a lot softer on the 2011 pair than it is on the right pair. And the charcoal color is a little bit lighter on the 2011 pair than the, than the 2015 pair. And if you guys look on the heel on the 2015 pair, the Bordeaux color is definitely a little bit brighter than it is on the 2011 pair. And you can see the little the, the midsole as well. How on the 2011 pair, the midsole is gray. On the 2015 pair, the midsole is black. There is just a, a couple slight color differences. As you guys can see, the heel on the where they show the 7 and the 23, the color is variated a little bit differently. If you guys look on the Jumpman on the side of the shoe as well, you will notice that on the 2015 pair, the Bordeaux color is a little bit lighter than it is on the 2011 pair. So if you guys look on the soles, you can see that the greens and the blues are a little bit different. On the 2011 pair, they are a little bit darker. On the 2015 pair, it is a little bit lighter. On the 2011 pair, you get more of that like olive green, kind of dark obsidian blue kind of color. But on the 2015 pair, you get a lighter green and a lighter blue. So that's definitely one difference there. And if you guys look in the heel, you can notice that the 2011 pair has a Jumpman and the 2015 pair has the Nike Air. And that was the comparison between these two shoes. As you notice that the 2015 pair, there are some slight differences, but apparently these are supposed to be closer to the original color that came out years, years, years ago. All around, great shoes. Um, I'm glad they came out again. I can't wait to throw them on feet. So here we go with the on feet portion. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe if you're brand new. Comment in the section below. Let me know if you guys copped or if you guys dropped. Let me know what your thoughts are on the shoe. I would really love to know because these are my favorite shoes of all time. So I would really like everybody's opinion on them. So yeah, um, and I'm happy I got them. But here we go, onto the on feet portion. 